summer jet setting. San Antonio International Airport, of course, has you covered. Today, we have a pair of travel experts showing us how to use online airfare tools to save money. We all like to do that, even on big trips across the pond to Europe. Public Relations Manager Tanya Hope and Air Service Administrator Jacob Tylem. Welcome, everyone. Thank or you. Or should say, welcome in. <laughs> yes. Kind of like, okay, top destinations from San Antonio this summer. What are they? Los Angeles, Burbank, Philly, Orlando, and my new favorite, which you just showed video, is Frankfurt, Germany. Yes, indeed, because <laughs> of the new striped airplane from Condor, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so why is it so exciting to be able to go over on a direct flight to Germany like that? It saves so much time, and honestly, coming back, Tanya and I have both flown on Condor back to San Antonio already, um, and to be able to go through our customs facility right here in San Antonio and be in your car, so quickly is so nice. Because usually you would have to maybe fly up to Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or something, one of the hubs, and then take it over and then go somewhere else. But just a, a direct shot right there. So um, you have some great travel tips for booking as well, right? Yeah, so we always say once you know you're going to do a trip to keep looking at the prices, um, there's some apps you can use to monitor the, the fares that are um, being put up by the airlines. But our biggest tip is definitely when you see a price you like, book it. Some people wait, oh, maybe it'll get better next week, and then it goes back up again. So if there's a price you see that looks like a deal, I'd say definitely snag it when you can. Are there certain days that are better than others to book flights? Or certain days better than others to travel on? You know, people always say that. I think it's... I, I like don't know. Thursdays and <laughs> Tuesdays sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there is actually an exact day. Some people say Wednesdays, but I think really just monitor it once you get that price that looks good to you. So if you're going to fly like on a Friday or a Sunday, you're probably going to be paying full price or something like that because that's those are the busiest days. Yeah. Okay. Busiest so, days how about tips for flying internationally? I say the biggest one is make sure your passport hasn't expired and know when your passport's going to expire. We get a lot of people that come to the airport and didn't realize that it was expired or it's expiring in a couple months. And certain countries, you have to have your passport valid for a certain amount of time before they let you into the country. Which is very unusual. Sometimes it's like six months beforehand. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, no, you better get a, a new one. You can't wait till the last minute. It's not the United States, but like you said, it's the other countries, right? Yeah. Okay, and low fares just in general, the, the best tips on those. So I think, like I said, just keep monitoring it. We have the lowest fares we've had in the history of the airport this summer. So we have more airlines flying than ever before. A lot more competition, a lot more people traveling. So there's a lot of good deals to be had, especially on our new friends at Condor. If you want to go to Europe this summer, there's still time, some great deals to be had. And um, you can book Condor for next summer already too. So if you can't make this summer work. And very quickly, travel tips for folks before they get to the airport. Make sure you know if your flight's going to be on time. Mm -hmm. Have a parking plan. There's lots of people parking this summer. It's a busy time for families, business travel. Have a parking plan. Know where you're going to park. But the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that I can say is arrive two hours, two hours before the boarding time of your flight. Not two hours before the time of your flight, two hours before the boarding time of your flight. And if it's an international flight, even earlier, I'd take three hours. I have I have that discussion with my family all the time. <laughs> I, why not sit in the airport and, and be on your I'm phone, I'm stressing right? it, I'm stressing it. All right, you can find out more information and travel tips on San Antonio International Airport's website, flysanantonio.com, or just give them a call at 210-207-3433. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, and we have a present for oh, you. A present. Yes, 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 you're leaving. Oh so we have this. You can probably open it later, but we have this present for you. Oh, my god! Great for flying because you'll have lots of time to fly <laughs> oh, and come a, to the airport. Oh, it's one of those great <laughs> travel blanks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.